Emergency rooms are busy, and a lot of times if an emergency room physician doesn't take the time to ask the right questions, then things that are missed and as a result a lot of uh, devastation can occur. I'm currently handling a case of a 37-year-old mother of three, single mother, who was working at the boys club here in Philadelphia for after school care for not only her children but for other children in the neighborhood. She woke up one morning and had a severe headache and this was on a Friday and she was used to having headaches as we all are and she didn't become alarmed or run to the emergency room. But the next day on Saturday when she woke up that headache was the worst headache of her life. It was her daughter's birthday that day. She was planning a party. She couldn't get out of bed at all. Her mother and her best friend convinced her to go to the emergency room. She went to the emergency room and told them that this was the worst headache of her life. She was in the emergency room for five and a half hours. The doctor saw her for 10 minutes. The doctor diagnosed her as having a tension headache and sent her home. The next day, she woke up and she was basically comatose. They rushed her to the hospital, and when they did a CAT scan the following day, they found she had a burst aneurysm and then had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in her brain. She's now permanently brain damaged in a wheelchair, will never walk, will never talk. The case is about the fact that the day before, when she went to the emergency room, they didn't do a CAT scan. CAT scan would have detected this immediately. They would have operated. She'd be okay today. I suspect that they didn't do a CAT scan because she was a welfare mom and didn't have the finances or didn't have the right insurance that would have paid for that CAT scan. So sometimes the best medical care is determinative of what kind of medical insurance you have. That's unfortunate, but that's true. If I had gone to the emergency room with the same complaint, I have good health insurance, they would have CAT scanned me in a second. So that's what that case is about. And that hospital is going to have to pay for her future medical care. For more information, go to erlegal.com.